Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? All right, I'm going to go over uh, the components, what's going on in my totes. And I can only do it right now when I'm during my water change. Um, it's a little hard to video camera with the plants, you know, sitting on the totes and stuff. A little dark in there. So let's get into it. So, this is... Uh, these are the bubbler discs. Well, not discs. They're cylinders. These are cylinders by Vivo Sun on Amazon. I think it's uh, maybe $12 or something for two. Or I think they come in two packs. But um, eight of these, I run a four per, four per tote. So I have four, three totes. So I got about 12 of these cylinders running. And when I do my water change, I'll, I take an old toothbrush and I just, I don't use any soap on my bubbler disc or soap on anything. I just use hot water and, and I scrub it and rinse it off. So I think about eight of these I've gotten in November and they've been running since November. And as long as I keep cleaning them and taking care of them, they're just running like the day I bought them. So that was just November of 2018. So I don't know how many months that is, but they're working just fine. <coughs> so for pumps, this is my newest pump that I decided to try out. It's on Amazon. It's a smaller pump here. And it is like a sump pump. It pumps from the bottom. So you see where the slats are there? It's three quarters of an inch right here to the bottom of those legs so the water can get down to three quarters of an inch and it'll still be able to pump nutrients I love I think I'm beginning to love this one because um, you can you can get to use up a lot of your nutrients by using one of these pumps where they have the suctions on the bottom and it comes with the uh, a couple black adapters that screw on top that's for the black tubing the black flexible tubing it does not come with it nor does this adapter or anything to adapt down to your airline tubing which I think is 3 16 so I've already had the black tubing it's 5 8 OD half inch ID and these parts that I got here just from some brass fittings I got from the hardware store now this pump here is pretty powerful um, I've had to put a valve right here to slow down my flow because this pump here is really good I like it it's strong but you get those little valves for uh, your pump if you decide to get one like this and it'll just slow it down just a little bit but I think if you had like six lines coming off of one of these, it would be perfect. You wouldn't have to put a, a valve on it. Now for your T's, you, for your, your bubbler diffusers, you need to get little T's and get a, depending on how many uh, totes you're going to set up or buckets, you need T's here. So those T's are important and usually just pops up as a suggestion when you're going to order the bubbler discs or the bubble diffusers whatever you decide on your bubble diffusers you get to see what I use and they've been working fine since like eight of them I think four of them are new but eight of them I've been running and they're working perfectly fine and for the air pump there's the air pump that I would suggest to get even if you're gonna you're gonna grow one plant or you know if you're thinking you know oh I can just get by with just a a, a low grade air pump because yeah, I'm just doing one plant anyways that is not the correct answer the correct answer is just get this one it's 90 bucks on Amazon the general hydroponics air pump it's about $80, $80 to $90. 
and off that one I'm, I can run uh, 12 bu bubble diffusers it's got four outlets with shutoffs and everything but even if you're gonna grow one plant I suggest getting that pump it's gonna be where your growth is coming from because of those you know those bubbles it's got a lot of power and it can give you plenty of bubbles in your your reservoirs and your plants will will thank you for it so I'll spend the ninety dollars and get that um, general hydroponics uh, air pump I'll show you my old um, water pumps and these ones are side pickups and I think I should just phase these out no these are the original ones that came with a kit like a long time ago but since then I just I kept the components I threw away their totes and everything because I just didn't like it but their pumps and everything it's been this pump's been run for a long time I don't even know what it's called but um, there's plenty of like this one on Amazon but I wouldn't get it get the bottom suction pumps so you can utilize all your nutrients all the way down to three quarters of an inch this one here has a site with six feed sites on the top here and I, you could probably find these on Amazon if you're planning to do multiple plants in one tote and so those are helpful that's a nice adapter there and it just it's kind of a plug-and-play thing with the same black 5 8 outer diameter with the half inch inner diameter so yeah you can get a section of that on Amazon as well and it's pretty cheap and this black tubing for your feeds and everything um, it's relatively cheap you can get a couple of these easily for I don't know maybe 20 bucks a couple packs of those okay so that's it for the components on the inside I've already covered you know my net pots um, so I'm gonna stay with the five gallon bucket lids but there's one that is a square six inch uh, bucket lid or on Amazon and it takes a six inch rock wool so since I've already got these plants going I have to wait till the next twins I'm basically I'm gonna upgrade to those five gallon um, lids that have a square hole and I'm gonna have to bump my four inch rock wool up to a six but I still want to keep it you know I'll probably end up chopping them in half if they're six by sixes because I don't need the roots being held up um, in the in, the, in a big six by six cube I'd rather have them come straight down so it might make sense to just chop those cubes in half we'll see how big they are um, that'll be later in the future all right that's my component setup what I have in my tote and I clean it once a week everything here you see it's been cleaned and right now I'll put nutrients back in that are already I've already pre-mixed up over here. I got some nutrients pre-mixed up. That's for the flower, the flowering ones. And I got one over here that's already been mixed up. And that one's for the two that are just in vegetative state right now. So yeah, that is it for now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this helps you out. And we'll say that many of these items that you see in this tent are all on Amazon or, in, or online somewhere so just go online you can order up and your totes you could probably find locally these totes I found locally and I live in a small town and but the lids you know you want your lid your top lid to be very sturdy and um, these ones have yellow lids I don't like the yellow was letting a lot of light through so I I customized the, the top lids to be all black and blacked out because the root zone down there there's there should be no light coming through all right peace out ladies and gentlemen I will see you on the next video it will probably be in about a week all right happy growing we'll see you on the next one